what's up guys it's your boy Dobby I'm Dobby Free Game present today's video guys I am back in today's video I'm gonna do a review on the Asus monitor yes I understand I didn't do a good job going through like fully on what the monitor is and what's my opinion and thoughts about it some of the specs you guys may want it to know and if it's had a lot of questions I totally understand that so in today's video I'll try to explain it a lot better for you and make stuff a lot clear so if you guys do enjoy this video, please maybe smack that like button helps your boy out tremendously. So, I'll get into some of the specs. So, the monitor comes with a HDMI. No, it doesn't. It comes with a HDMI port with a DVI and a audio port. So, the monitor can have sound from coming from it. So, some of the things you will get in the box is a VGA cable with an audio cable, and you will not get an HDMI cable. I just want to make that clear. If you want to get this monitor you get a VGA cable, not a HDMI cable, and you get an aux cable as well. So some of the features of this monitor is native resolution, full HD, it's 1920 by 1080, the aspect ratio is 16.9, it has a anti-glare screen coating as well. Some of the, this is a 60 hertz monitor, as you guys already should know, and this thing is a one millisecond gray to gray as well. So image brightness is 250 cd and i like i have been saying it comes with the speaker stereo with monitor. i have been saying it comes with the already built-in speaker so that's like the main key highlights of this monitor and this thing roughly costs you around 100, 109 dollars i did have this monitor for roughly around i'll say 9 to 10 months now and it's pretty much does its job what it says it will do basically so some of the game just gonna be my personal review on this one some of the games that i do play on this monitor are call of duty csgo nba madden the division you name it i overwatch i play those games on this monitor i mean this thing does its job what it says it's gonna do so why uh, the initially in 10 months before i mean 10 months ago why i bought this monitor was to pretty much get a good affordable monitor that could play my games on 1080p that's pretty much what we all want our monitors to do that's what all of us want basically so when i first saw this monitor it was roughly 110 dollars kind of skeptical if i should buy it or not and let me get this off i had a benq that broke that's the only reason i bought this monitor so that i was expecting a lot from it but when I got it for $109, I unboxed it and it was good to go and it was pretty good. So almost 9 to 10 months. I could personally say this monitor does its job. If you guys are looking for something cheap, affordable, 1080p, go ahead with this monitor. I personally like it. I mean, I don't have an issue. I haven't had an issue with it, like dead pixels or none of that stuff like that you guys may be concerned with. Um, yeah, I also did see a Chinese monitor that was better than this for roughly around 150 on eBay. I mean, I went with this because I mean, it's Ace. It's, it's a good reputable band with three-year warranty on it. So, I mean, if something were to F up, there you go. I just send it in, get a replaced one. So, in my, what's my opinion on the, on the whole thing? What's my end of the day thought? If you have the money, yes, there are better monitors out there in the market than this. If you come from a very, very high-end monitors like Asus AROG or the BenQ, the high-end ones, you may see some like picture, like the picture maybe not be sharp as you see it on that monitor compared to this. That's just what it is for the price. You can't complain it. But if you're just a normal guy that's wanting to play a 1080p game on a 1080p monitor, um, by all means, go ahead with this monitor. You will not go wrong with it. I mean no i'm not getting paid to say this i'm just saying what i think it is if you have a high-end monitor just look and if you if you want to get this for some odd reason or to have it on your like three monitor setup maybe you want something affordable this thing can do your job right the pictures excellent if you're if you want if you're on a like if you come from a low-end monitor and not a true 1080p monitor and gaming is perfectly fine with the one millisecond i I could play CSGO Overwatch GTA 5 on the PC just about fine with no hesitation and end of the day guys yeah I do recommend this monitor for $109 or you could probably even find it for cheaper on eBay for roughly around 89 bucks so once again guys if you, if you did enjoy this video please remember to smack that like button helps your boy out tremendously and hope I could answer some questions if you guys have some questions leave them down in the description I'll try to answer as much as I can possibly answer and yeah I, I once again want to say I'm sorry for that
it wasn't the best video I put out on the review of this monitor. Hope I could clear that up with this video. If I if I wasn't clear, and tell me why I wasn't clear in the in the description. Tell me some questions that you may have with this monitor. So yeah, I highly recommend it if you want to get something affordable. If you are if you have little more money in your pocket, there's better options out there than this. And if you want to save money, go ahead with this monitor. You will be fine. So